very interesting little article here. Well, I'm going to let you guys see this before I start talking. It's amusing at the end of this. And not in the way that everybody thinks I'm laughing at this person. I'm actually amused because at the end what this says I'm just hoping more research is done just to make sure she can live a full life doing all the things she wants. That's it. There's no research going on. Will there be research? Unlikely. Because this is what they want. Uh, you can't see my fingers because obviously it's too dark. <clears throat> this is what they want. When they want research, this is what they mainly want when they do research. What's this my fingers are doing? They want money. You give them money to do research. They're not going to do it on their own. So, let's see about doing it without the money. Let's use our brains. How can we fix something like this to prevent, basically, from this happening. So she's affected by water. She can't cry. And she can't have water touch her. And she can't sweat. So how do we prevent something of that nature and fix it to allow her to be normal? Well, she needs to be kept cool that's one thing. And she needs to be kept dry at the same time. So theoretically, there is a fix for that by using a circulation system as the body produces a circulation system that basically keeps your body at a warm temperature. Your blood flow. But in this case, she needs to keep her body a little more chill so she doesn't work out and have herself sweat on herself, as what most of these pictures are. And living in a humid area, she needs to be kept dry. So there's a challenge. So. In this case, as I mentioned about my human animal suits, this is theoretically actually fully possible to actually do on just without the entire characteristics of my actual suit's design. The internal suit ability of the actual suit design that I'm going to be talking about later in the future on my other channel is will probably be different than this, but this actually may be possible to make a internal flux uh, liquid system that would be easy to wear and have a cooling system like liquid cooling on a computer does. Like you know how liquid cooling flows from the PC uh, CPU to the GPU and keeps that cool and then flows back into a chilled vent system that has fans blowing on a radiator that cools the radiator heat sinks and then recirculates that hot uh, water system and brings it back down the temperature and then sends that temperature back into the cooling system, which then goes back to the CPU and GPU. Basically, it's actually possible to make a clothing design that will have micro 
piping system that will run through the entire body function, uh, function and keep the person at a cool state and also be able to have a shielding protection system that will make the clothing counteract humidity uh, system that make it so the inside will be dry while the outside will be wet. Kind of like a wetsuit where you're always dry inside but on the outside you're actually wet. So that actually will be able to be possible to work. Now the design making of a company that will probably produce this should actually do it and shouldn't want this to be all gone. This should be something that should be made and should be produced for people like this without putting a dime. Okay. How it will go down on actual design ability, I don't know, but hopefully get some communication going down with that, but yeah. But a wetsuit design that has a circulation system will actually be able to work with that and prevent such ability. And as long as it keeps uh, basically all the hands, like the fingers, um, toes closed off, and even maybe a head, uh, maybe even like, um, what is it, uh, a head mask uh, on top that they can fit on top and connect a circulation system there and then have goggles. She'll be able to go basically swimming, go to the beach, go jump around in the snow, everything. Pretty easy. There's, there's one thing that I want to make a video talking about that uh, it's quite interesting that uh, some people have some problems. And there is a fix. Research doesn't need to really go into it because, again, research companies want money. They don't want to actually use their brains. They want the money before they actually put in the actual thinking ability. So there you go. Brains without the money. It's done. Now we just need to produce it. I hope this girl finds the ability for the company to actually produce the system and she has her life back to normal because it's actually an easy way to fix. Peace out and stay cool guys.